Want to know how to make these pants? Stay tuned. Kai Shiba. Hey guys, this is Frankie. Dadja hao, washa Frankie. And today we're going to be making some slacks. We're going to be using this Dolly Dolly book from Kenya Kunya. They also have an online presence. I'm not sponsored by them. But let's get started. First things first, we have the front, the front back pocket piece. We have the back, and then we have the waistband. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my tracing paper and my tracing wheel and I'm going to make the marks. So the marks I'm going to be making are for the pleat, for the notch on the front, for the dart and the notch and the notch on the back. And then we're going to be making some little marks for the front little pocket spot here. So I'm going to pull up my chair. Oop gonna get started. Make sure when you're marking it, it's on the wrong side, not the good side. I'm gonna stick this on in here. And I'm gonna mark. And yep, it did show up. All right. Mark here. this because the pen is in the way. There we go. And then the way the plate has to go. Then there was the mark here. That's done. So now what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is sew up the front darts and then I'll sew up the back darts and then I'll be right back. All right, so we have put in the back darts. Let's see, do, do, do. This is the back pieces. This is what it looks like on the inside. The excess fabric is going inward to the center back and then here are the front pieces with the pleats the back side the seam allowance or the excess fabric is also going into the center front so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the pocket so I'm just going to fold this over for the allotted seam allowance and then I'm going to stitch it down. Now I'm doing this because I want to make this pocket functional. I'm not going to create a pocket bag, but if you are not doing that, you don't want to make it functional. What you can do is match this up where it's supposed to match, put this piece behind it and then stitch down. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do the edge stitching for the pockets. Okay, we have done the edge stitching here. And what I'm gonna do is, this is only if you have made this functional. I am basically gonna do a little stay stitch here, a little stitch here, just so that this stays in place. If you did not make this functional and made this a mock pocket and you stitched right on top, you don't have to worry about this. You can also just pin it and keep moving. I just kinda wanna stitch it so I don't have to worry about pins. All right, so now that we have done our little stay stitches here, and basically we are made a functional pocket so that if Barbie wants to stick her hand in, she can. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the front fly. I have basically marked on here slightly with a pencil of where it's gonna start and where the curve is. If you have something that you can mark on that will evaporate or disappear once you iron it or something that's easy to remove by all means use that versus a pencil the last thing you want to do is have you know your fabric and then you are drawing all over it and then you sew it and then you have to try to figure out how to get that out that is not what we want so on to the fly 
Okay, we have finished putting in the front fly. This is what it looks like on the back side. And we're going to put, we're gonna be sewing the front crotch. So match it up, sew along the seam allowance. We're also gonna do it to the back side. And we're gonna sew from the notch down. Do not sew past this notch up here because this is how Barbie is going to be getting into her pants through this way. All right, so I'm gonna go sew up the crotches. Okay, so now we have sewn the crotch seam, did a little bit of clipping here with scissors so that the curve would be smoother. Also, the seam allowance for the crotch here on the front pant, I moved going to the outer part. This kind of helps to make the fly look a little bit more functional, even though it's not. And for the back, we pop the seams open. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to sew the inseam. So we're gonna put good sides to good sides together and we're going to match at the seam at the crotch. Then we're gonna pin it and we're gonna sew it. And so basically, go down to the leg, pin it, and then go down to the other leg, and pin it. And now, we're ready to sew the inseam. All right, so now I have sewn the inseam in. This is what it looks like when the seams match up at the crotch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press these open and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch the out side seam down, the out seam down. And then I'm gonna press that open. Okay, we have done the outside seams. Make sure that on the inside seams you clip I'm gonna turn this inside out and then we're going to focus on attaching the waistband. Okay guys, I decided to try the pants on before I did the waistband. If you made this a mock pocket and you stitch right on, then you don't have to worry about this. But if you're making this functional, there's, there's no pocket bag in here, which means that you can see this or this can come out. If you don't care, then that's fine. You could probably also do some fabric tack, um, but this is mostly so that it can be functional so that, you know, Barbie can put her hand in. So whatever you decide to do, if you want to go all out and make yourself a pocket bag, then go for it. Or if you just want to strategically place fabric tack, it's totally up to you. I just want to let you guys, guys know that this is a thing that can happen when you do this. All right, so now we're moving on to the waistband. We're going to fold it in half. With good side to good side, then we're gonna sew down the allotted seam allowance on one side and sew down the allotted seam allowance on the other side. So now we have sewn down the edge or the sides of the waistband. I clipped a little here to make the excess not so much inside the waistband. I also added a little bit, I added like a quarter of an inch more onto the waistband because when I was pinning it on just to see how it was doing, I felt like it needed a little bit more. So we're gonna turn this back outward and if you need to, get like a, something that can help you push the corners out. All right. And so now what we do is I marked where our center front is gonna be. So you take your pants and your waistband and you line it up to where center front is then you pin it. Do, do, do. If a pen would like to, thank you. Pin it, and then pin it all the way around. Now after we finish pinning everything, what I'm gonna do 
is once you sew it down at the allotted seam allowance, it's going to flip up like this for the waistband. I'm going to go around and do an edge stitch all the way around. So I thought you guys may want to see before I put the edge stitch in what it looks like. And this is basically what it looks like uh, stitched. So now I'm going to flip it. And if you find that you flip it and say maybe this here got twisted or there's like some type of weird pinch, then all you have to do is just take in that section, take the threads out and then adjust it and then sew back over. So this is what she's looking like. You know, for the back and all that stuff. So now I'm going to edge stitch this. All right, so now we have done the stay stitch around the waistband. Now we're gonna move to the hem. I'm gonna flip this inside out. Also, if you're sewing the waistband and all that stuff, it might be easier if it's inside out as well. But now we're going to work on the hem. So basically what I'm gonna do is you can either use stitch your witchery and iron it in which is like an adhesive type of tape or you can use fabric tack or if you don't have any of that you can flip it and then tack it on the side seams now just keep in mind that if you put your doll's foot in it it might catch so that is a possibility but I'm just gonna turn it inside out and then use your method of choice. I'm gonna try to use fabric tack with this, but my fabric tack is kind of dried out, so we'll see if we can get any out of here. If I can get any that's usable. something sticky you know let me do it this way <laughs> it stayed on here all right so I'll keep trying at this and I can get a little bit out like this. I take a little bit off. I'm not sure if this is the best way, but let's see. Put it on the back and then we're going to press it. <laughs> Seems to hold it a little bit. I'm going to do it. There we go. All right, so now it's time to put the snaps into the back so that you know I can fasten. I'm gonna use the smallest snap here. And I tried it on the Barbie, but it was a very like, I had to really be pulling to get it to overlap. So I'm gonna be stitching this very close to the edge so I can go ahead and snap it. All right. So now we are done with Barbie's pants, her slacks, Oh, styling and profiling thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you next time bye bye Zaijin